Hello everyone, let's play Halal. So this is the fourth part of our tutorial series. Let's make a racing game. In this tutorial, we'll focus on uh, making a braking system that can help the AI car detect each other and also slow down before it actually gets close and also use the brake when it's necessary. And other than that, we intend to make this car racing series as short as possible but unfortunately we're stuck with the AI because because it's just so much fun and it is so much fun to teach you guys and yes please subscribe uh, hit the bell icon and also uh, follow me on Twitter and everything and thank you guys for subscribing recently I'm getting a lot of views and uh, I guess not that much but whatever it is I'm grateful so thank you guys let's start the tutorial Previously we worked on steering system and this system actually helps the car AI follow the entire road from start to the end. But when it reaches the end it doesn't actually continue to follow the road. So it gets lost and for that problem uh, we will make a looping system. It's in here but as soon as it ends the target location actually stays there. So we need to say no. The target location will be here again on the starting point starting spline point I guess so in order to do that just we need to do one thing that is I guess go to event graph and here we need to select yes select float and let's say if this is less than the spline length. Let's get the spline. Okay, we don't have the spline. Interesting. Get spline. Okay, get spline. And get length. Spline length. And let's say if it is less than, if the current distance of the target location is actually uh, less than the uh, spline length so if we are not at the end of the spline then just continue to increase the distance and continue to move the target location forward but if it is at some point it reaches the full length of the spline it reaches the end then the, set the distance to zero I guess this is the spline distance after all so if we set it to zero then the starting location of the uh, I guess start target location will start at zero again because we're giving it zero distance so it will again start with the starting location we'll just see from above if it does work or not we have to just see if, th if it loop around if it does loop around then we have no issue so let's see let's see how it does okay it is working so it is looping around nice so the target location actually resets itself after reaching the end now that we have finished the looping around and we need to actually fix another issue and this issue is if you bring a new car inside our level and if you hit play we have this car following on the wrong way and we have this warning so we need to first actually make the road spline variable public and then we have to do is select the car and we need to reference our road spline and same goes for every one of these car AI actor we have to select the road spline because it needs to know where it should follow even though we already did that in our construction script and as you can see it is working uh, but there's a problem they're too close to each other not respecting any sort of space so we need to implement a braking system so that it can stop if it is too cl close to the other cars uh, in order to do that we need to actually add two box component uh, two box collusion let's just find box we have this box collusion 
and let's just name it break now so this will be our breaking detector uh, we need to actually bring it up so it does not hit the ground and it needs to be wider bit bigger and little bit higher yeah this looks pretty good and we need to add another box collision collision and this one we'll call it uh, slow down actually name it slow down buddy it sounds funny slow down buddy and let's bring it in front of the other one and we need to bring it up as well and from here we actually make it longer so it detects before anyone detecting so it is the first line of detection so this one uh, and this one it should not be parented with one another anyway so we have both of these let's just make our add event and on component begin overlap for slow down body and another one for on component end overlap and these two is for our slow down and for our breaking we need to do the same thing on component begin overlap let's bring it down and break on component end overlap so we have both of these let's just work with the breaking first because that's what is needed let's call this should break so this is our breaking switch so if any car any AI car enters inside the break now box so if it does enter we'll check it to should break and it should be true but if after entering inside the break now box and it ends the overlap and goes outside the box we should turn it off again and also booleans are by default always false as you can see it is always false so it starts with false then it gets true then it gets false uh, if you set it to false and on here on the slow down body we need another variable and this should be should slow down it's pretty good um, everything's fine should slow down should be set to true if it does enter the box if it does enter the box it should slow down and if it's outside the box after finishing overlapping if it does go outside the box it will set it false so the slowdown should be turned off and we'll go inside speed limiter and we'll bring should break and get should break and make it we'll make a branch so we made a branch now we need to actually get inside the acceleration because we need to make breaking function inside our parent blueprint class uh, it is called sports car pawn and here we need to get this set break input and let's copy this with the control C and let's paste it right here and let's make a custom event add custom event and we'll call this breaking and let's drag the break input and we, there we have we expose the break and we'll just close the window and we'll just implement our breaking I guess we have this breaking and let's set it one so it does <coughs> stop the car and before we do anything let's just show you one thing let's promote this thing to a variable 
and by default it is already 50 and if you go inside the level if you select it <coughs> we don't see anything here that's because we haven't made it public so let's make this variable public so we can change it inside our level and here let's say that this car will be 60 km per hour so this is the fastest car and also the to differentiate from the rest let's just make it visible uh, yeah let's it is already visible I guess oh wow for some reason it is visible I guess okay hidden so let's make it visible and this car is the frontal car we'll make it even slower with 45 speed limit and let's see what happens so the fastest car is currently actually currently bashing the other car so it is trying to get the first place but the thing is it has to collide with other cars to get in front of them it just shows that it is not respecting any sort of space because it is faster than the other and sometimes it is getting stuck because the all the other cars are slower so what we need here is say that if it does hit our boxes overlap our boxes especially the break now box then it should stop right there and if it is outside the box and if it is then we should just accelerate and the value of one actually stops the car and it does not allow acceleration so if should brake is false then we should accelerate with braking value of zero and we should connect the acceleration so that it does accelerate properly and there we have it and let me show you the difference right now because it is stopping as you can see that it is trying to use brake as you can see it is not actually crazy even though it is the fastest car it is actually respecting the boundaries uh, set by this brake now box so when it is overlapping it is trying to stop but that's not enough I guess we made another shoot slow down so to actually avoid this situation in the first place we need to actually use shoot slow down and we're actually accelerating with acceleration function so it's not just braking we actually need to uh, change the acceleration as well in order to slow down when it should be slowing down so add it with the v value so this value will remain if the slowdown is false but if the slowdown is true then we should slow down with value of zero acceleration so this should make the system even even more smarter and as you can see none of this car it not just this car but all of this car actually respecting some sort of distance and it is not hitting the other car even though this car is faster than the every one of this car it is actually respecting its boundaries so it is trying to be the number one but when it detects something in front it just slowing down and braking so this prevents it from actually hitting the other cars so now that we have done let's just arrange these things uh, let's make this a macro because the speed will be needing in the future and let's collapse it to macro and let's call it speed kmh kmh because that's what it is it is kilometer per hour and everything here should be fine that's it for today and on the next episode we will make our AI even smarter so currently our AI gets lost if it is not around the road 
and if it is far away from road or if it is even far away from the start location or it is facing other direction the car AI gets lost and it doesn't know where to go and we'll fix this issue and we will make the AI smart enough to actually avoid other cars and let's say the real racing cars they actually have intention of winning the game so we'll make sure the AI actually smart enough to uh, get in the first place and uh, let's say maneuver around other car so we will do that but I don't know if I can do all of those things in on episode maybe more or two or more episode and then we'll move on to something else yeah that's it for today goodbye salam peace that's it